Hey everyone. Don't mind the kids in the background. So this is a quick comparison between the Zero Tolerance Zero 350. There you go. Great knife. I've had this particular one for over 10 years. Um, about in 2011 and I guess it'd be about 12 years. And it's fantastic. It's been my daily carry uh, for about five of those years. And then I transitioned to a non-assisted blade. Uh, this is an assisted opening knife, about three inches. I'll put the specs right here. Uh, great knife. And again, it's, it's epic. Um, I carry this in my left hand pocket. So this is kind of my get off me knife. It opens really easily because it's assisted. Um, really good grip on the blade. It feels like a, like a full size knife, even though I'd consider this a compact. Um, you'll see kind of a size comparison in a little bit. And I'm gonna do a cutting comparison in a bit. But my, uh, my non-assisted blade that I transitioned to was a Spyderco, a pair of three. There were a couple iterations before this, and I'm not good with my left hand with the Spidey Flick, but the Para 3 is an epic knife. Um, honestly, this is about the zero tolerance blades, but if you're interested in a good knife and you're not a fan of the zero tolerance, the Spyderco is great. All three of these are USA made. The third one, and the one that's been my daily carry for a while, and is taking over as my uh, primary blade is my 0308 and this zero tolerance knife is absolutely fantastic I have another video that I'll put a, a card for um, up here kind of introducing this knife but I wanted to do a quick comparison of these knives and just kind of show between the two zero tolerance and then the spider co how they compare so pardon all the noise kind of around the neighborhood, but I just wanted to get this video taken care of. The 0308, uh, you can see, is larger than the 0350. Uh, this is kind of the newer generation of zero tolerance knives. Uh, this is definitely an older model, older generation. They previously, this is a frame lock, uh, sorry, a uh, liner lock, by the way. Uh, and this is a frame lock. Um, I'll throw the Spyderco in for a size comparison. The Para 3 is a uh, kind of a staple knife. Uh, 0350 is a larger blade slightly. Um, Para 3 handles like a smaller knife. Uh, the weight on the Para 3 versus the weight on the 0350 versus the weight on the 0308 is... This guy is in a totally different ballpark. The reason I'm showing the pair of three though is because these two knives, if you were to buy them new, would be about the price of the 0308. And price is absolutely a consideration that you have to um, keep in mind. Also, the 0350 and the 0308 um, are not in the same ballpark when it comes to steel. 0350 has S30V. This particular pair of three has S45VN. I would say the S45VN is slightly better than the 0350 of the, S, the S30V of the 0350. The, uh, however, the 0308 is CPM 20CV, which is so far my favorite blade steel. I haven't used. Um, you know, a lot of the premium steels, but of the ones that I have handled, this is my favorite so far. I'm actually gonna show you a cardboard cut comparison on this box. So let's get all of this stuff out of the way. Uh, again, frame lock here with bearings. You can see that it falls. It doesn't fall because the way the gravity is set up relative to the camera, um, but it'll fall pretty easily. Uh, but it's a really, really smooth action. The pair of three falls very nicely. Uh, this is on, but um, this is on bronze washers, as opposed to um, bearings, and it falls nicely. 
And this guy is also on washers, but it's an assisted opening. So you have to overcome right about here. You start feeling tension and you have to force close the knife. So what I do is I do the liner lock, get it to this point and then close like so. This guy has gotten me on the closure before because if I'm not paying attention, you can actually see right here, it'll get you. Um, also, an issue that I've had with opening is if I'm pushing on the frame lock here, it gets really, really tight. I have to stay off of the frame lock in order to open the blade. Let's go into that cut test. I'm gonna start with the Para 3. This is the sliciest knife that I have. Bit of resistance and it cuts it pretty well. Uh, none of these have been recently honed. Uh, this is kind of the, the sharpness that I'm able to maintain on a regular basis. Uh, this is the 0350. Definitely more work. You can see that it's pushing the cardboard in once you get that started. It doesn't hold the same edge, but when it comes to prying any kind of heavy duty work compared to the Para 3, even though the Para 3 looks a little thicker, um, the tip is, I would assume, a little more delicate. I would trust this guy more for any kind of hard use. And let's try 0308. This thing stays razor sharp. That was as easy, wow, as the Para 3. Easier than the Para 3. Yeah, uh, like, I don't know if you can see. One second. I'm gonna show you this from another angle. This is the, like, pushing a little bit of slice on the 0308. And Spyderco, I would say in slicing ability, in slicing ability, one, two, three. Is this worth both of these? Maybe not. Um, if you're only gonna have one though, this guy's fantastic. If you're okay with having a very large blade. Slicing. Spiderco is carving and slicing really well. It looks like I'm putting in a lot of effort, but I'm taking really big chunks and it's, it's working really well. Fresh spot, the 0350 isn't taking as big of chunks, but it has a really nice belly here. Uh, kind of a, a swoop in geometry, which makes it harder to sharpen, but really good for grabbing kind of into material. It's kind of like a kukri kind of uh, kind of profile, if you can see what I mean, right here. And then it has a big belly and kind of comes out. Um, but it's, it's good for grabbing in. Uh, it takes a bit of effort because, again, it's not as sharp as the Spyderco which is more of a function of not staying as sharp. I use all these knives pretty, uh, pretty well. That said, S30V is a very competent steel. Let's go with the 0308. Whoa. <laughs> this, thing, this thing's aggressive. It just want, it's just, it's, I'm putting in kind of a similar effort and it's just shaving tons. Let me, Try to take a more controlled cut. There. The geometry on this is tough. It's taking the bark off really easily, but I'm not trying to take the bark. I'm trying to take chunks like this. 
ah, and it like once it bites, once it it gets in there. Ah, there. It just if it finds a soft spot, it just it shaves through, no problem. I gotta practice with this guy a little bit. If I just try to take small bits, I could make little chips and if you want to feather stick or do survival stuff, that would be what I would choose. Anyway, I still like this one the best, even though it's a little insane. Ooh, let me try chopping. Yeah, I could chop through that pretty easily if I wanted to work my way through. Anyway. There you go. American Blade of the Spider Co. American Blade of the Zero Tolerance 0308. And the 0350. All of them are great options. If I lost all three of these blades today, and I had to go out and I, I had to have a pocket knife, and I had to buy one again, I can honestly say I'd probably buy this one first. Uh, I'm so impressed with this blade. It is. It does everything the 0350 does as far as toughness, assumed toughness. Um, this one doesn't have as much of a track record, but based on the way it's built, the feel, um, I'm looking forward to using this hard. Uh, the Spyderco is a fantastic knife. I know it's not a zero tolerance, but I'm throwing it into the mix. Come on, there you go. Uh, I'm throwing it into the mix. I think this is a great knife. I'm really happy with it. And it's not as like intimidating as some of the other blades. I'm really impressed with the edge holding and the sliciness of the Spyderco. I will have to say, 0350 is probably the one that I would maybe not buy again if I have 0308. But that said, if I wasn't going to buy the bigger zero tolerance, this one would probably be up on the list as far as uh, important knives. As far as my knives, this is the second favorite, if that makes sense. Even though I said I would buy the Spyderco before this, like an overall comparison, just with what I prefer to use, this is high up on the list. There you go. Anyway, guys, stay safe out there. Uh, practice knife safety. Uh, I have a cut here. Cut here. Cut here. One over here is healing. See you guys. Also, beautiful day. Sorry about all the shadows and everything, but I just couldn't not be outside today. <laughs>